Hello everybody, this is Robert with Deep Thought Cycle Blog, and this is my Shirley Ogre bike. And I'm going to do an off the bike review about this Thompson Elite Stin. This is an Elite X4 100mm Stin. And I'm going to compare it to this Control Tech 1 uh, stem that's a 60mm stem that I just put on. And I'm going to tell you what I think. I've got a toe peak phone holder on top here. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I think. Now I have, now I think when you talk about stems, it's really important to talk about the rest of your cockpit. So when I bought this bike and I built this bike in China, there's no way to sit on a bike and to test it out. Huang, Huang, give me one of the Ling Dus, honey. Bring me one of those Ling Dus. Okay? So in China, when you buy a bike, there's no way to, to, to really test. You know, I had, I had to go to Hong Kong to get the frame and the forks, and then every piece what of it came, came from a different... Sir's not outside. He's not outside. Not in the house? What? One second. Here we go. Sorry about that. We have real, real life life, right? So, when I, when I got my bike, you know, I had to get the frame. And then every other... I went to Hong Kong to get the frame. And then I had to go to... And it's not easy for me to go to Hong Kong. And, 17 years of living in China nearly, I've only gone to Hong Kong like maybe maybe five times. So that tells you that I don't leave China, mainland China that often. So um, I had to leave to get these fenders, kind of Cascadia fenders, which absolutely are are unbelievable. And and, uh, and get the get my trailer, my Burley trailer. I think I've done a review on that. And to get this little fender flute right here. Without the spinner flute, there's a big gap between the trailer and the wheel. So I've, I've left a couple times, um, but I built the bike, and when I got the bike, I had to get the Jones bars. Um, I bought a flat bar originally, and it just, after I found out about Jones bars, I, I sent a message to Jones in America, and actually his wife runs an email, and he's a hell of a nice guy, a big company like that, and his wife personally sent me this, this Jones loop bar, it's called loop bar, and this, this is a 710 millimeter version, I believe. Forgive me if I got the measurements wrong. They got a shorter version, but I, I elected not to cut mine. And um, I, I had a, a Thompson uh, laid back stem, uh, laid back, what do you call it? Laid back uh, seat post. And I, because I, before I was riding a Gary Fisher Cobia. There's my dog out there. Boy, what are you doing? Hey, keep literally laying in the middle of the street, man. You might. He's a mutt. So, um, so I had a Gary Fisher Cobia, which is aluminum. And it was a great, great bike. Um, it was a 29-inch Gary Fisher, and it was back when 29 inches were relatively new. And and it was real hard to get a, uh, you know, Gary Fisher. I know Trek bought them, and they've sold out, like, pretty big. But that was the last year or so when they called them Gary Fisher. But it was a great bike. It was stolen. But but the way that was set up, I I thought the cockpit was a little bit too short. So on that bike, I did have a laid back seat post, and I so and I did have a longer post, a longer stem on there. And now I switch. I just switched to the to this Cobalt Three that I got a really good deal. You could check out the video the other day on that. And um and I'm pushed my seat here. All the way forward, I'm using the Brooks uh, B17 saddle. I use these a lot. They're they're great, man. I mean, they make the difference between a bloody ass and uh, and a comfortable sofa, right? Um, I pushed this forward all the way, and I was worried. That, you know, I had to even even when I changed my my seat post, I was still like leaning forward too much, and I I do have to go to work fast, and I like to travel. And sometimes I get neck pain in the back. And, um, yeah, so I wanted, you know, it just wasn't right after changing, so I decided to change the stem. And I was really worried to change the stem because, you know, this is 60 millimeters, and I, and I, and I wanted to go, like, I was thinking, like, 20 millimeters or something, right? Or 
30 millimeters, whatever, half that. Can you imagine? That's that's almost nothing right there. That If that, there was half of that, that'd be about right here. And, um, on, um, but this is the only one I could get. I'm not a, you know, control track bling in China is a lot of fake stuff. And I'm not, you know, it's the blue, the blue cap. I didn't really, blue doesn't go with the bike color that much, but I'm not really particular. But I don't want to roll around like the, the bike ninjas and stuff, right? So, um, so, sirs, go do your work, sirs. Hey, uh, go do your work, okay? Sorry. Um, homeschooling kids right um so I, i'm not really crazy about the bike ninja bling um but it's the only sim i could get and i got a really good deal i mean i got it for 180 yen which is pretty good because this thing right here costs like five or six hundred yen in china um and now i have it and i don't know what to do with it um okay so how is now now one of the things i try to do is i try to i never cut my steer on my ogre um, I left it uncut and I put some spacers in here and uh, it's pretty high. I've, I've, I've had it down lower when I wanted to be more aggressive but since then I've moved it back up. And this is the 400, I think 400 or 410 C tube. On my other Thompson lay back I cut it. Um, right now it's slide all the way down. I considered cutting it but it's okay. Um, I may actually cut that later on when I get a chance, cut out about 50 millimeters from the bottom because you can't slide it down more um, on, the, on the Shirley Ogre. So, so what is the verdict? Well, on these Jones bars, there's a guidance right here, and I've got mine slid, slanted slightly down, and I had a, you know, I, I really was particular about my seat how level to put it, you know, if you put the tip up a little bit, tip down a little bit, and after much, much experimentation, that is the correct uh, position for my seat to feel comfortable, not like I'm sliding down on it, and not like it's uh, up on my crotch, pointed up too high, and, um, and a lot of people don't say, you know, they don't recommend ergon grips with Jones bars, and I, I think they work awesome. Now, I might, I might move... I might adjust these to be a little bit higher now. You got to be careful though in traffic because these will catch mirrors um, on cars and stuff when you're going in and out of traffic. Because I don't use bike lanes. Um, but they got some new Muk Luk or Luk or whatever bars. I would try those. Those look cool. Um, they look very similar to the Jones bars. I don't know if Jones and and Shirley had a fallout and Shirley created their own. I would try them, sure, but I don't have them. I have my Jones and they're great. My ESI grip is getting pretty worn here. But it's still pretty comfortable. Um, so I, I, I'm actually rotating my. If if I was to put mine there, you know, if I put these bars so they're tilted like this, then these would be two down and two not so comfortable. I wanted to have them up a little bit. So now with this position, I'm sitting, and I'm bare. I could I could sit up and I could you know put my hands down and barely lean forward and I'm on it. So it's a huge difference in like the layout position I was in before. But honestly, I could probably go another 20 millimeters on here, at least, and they would probably still be comfortable. I, that'd be cool. I haven't gone on any, any long rides. I just changed it and rode around about a kilometer or so just to get the feel of it. Um, but it feels night and day, like like a brand new bike. Um, I've never been in such a nice, comfortable, upright position. Um, it's super awesome. You know, I... I could I could I recommend it a 40 millimeter on a Shirley for me being five foot six and I don't know what my reach is. Yeah, I, I could have gotten a 40 millimeter. I guess no problem. I'm not going to knock this. It's I don't feel so bad that this is 60 millimeters. It's so awesome uh, compared to the 100 millimeter that I just took off. Um, it fits so much better. I don't know what the bike originally came with because the the. The Shirley, Shirley website has a new specs for the new bike, and their old bike, it doesn't say, it just says the the width, the 38, 32, whatever, uh, diameter, but it doesn't say anything about the length. So, what I recommend, what would I recommend for a 5 foot 6 person? I'd recommend a, a 40 to 60 millimeter. I don't know what shorter or 30 millimeter, but um, it's, it's awesome. Um, I imagine, like, I rode to Hong Kong with it, and... 
I imagine I could go on a much longer tour um, in this upright, more upright position. I'm not, I, I thought at first it'd be pretty goofy to not cut the, cut the post on my forks, but even after, you know, after raising it up, it doesn't feel that goofy to me. Um, as you could see, the handlebars are about level with, are just a little bit higher than the, than the seat, than the seat. And uh, this is the surely small frame. And for me, it's, it's, it's just awesome. I'm, I'm going to go work uh, this, this Friday. I'll ride to work tomorrow and Saturday, and I'll be commuting on it. And I'll, I'm looking forward to, well, I mean, I've got to go out and get more jobs, and I'll be getting up the kilometers to do the 300, 400 kilometers a week. Um, and I'm, I'm waiting on some tires. I'm waiting on, you know, like I said, I'm, I've got the Mondio in the back, and I've got the Schwab Plus Tour in the front. And I'm really looking forward to these Shrova Maritime Supremes that I've talked about for the last year and a half that I tried to order from England twice. And I ended up spending 1,900 yen on them. And then I got to spend another 200 yen on the sealant and 180 yen per tire on the on the Mavic uh, UST valves. And see how that goes. But um, but it's, it's like, you know, a long time ago I went from... Uh, shitty or uh, bad bont rigger tires to good better schwalbe tires and the rolling resistance was made like a new bike and and having the correct geometry um and shortening my cockpit co uh, cockpit up you know and, and i don't do off-road stuff i'm just going to work and commuting it's like a new bike um so i would fully recommend it i'm not too crazy about control tech bike ninja stuff and that kind of brand um you know it seems like you know you look here and there's actually it seems like the stem is a lot lot more tight with smaller screws but it's still a stem it functions the same they got four four bolts on this uh two bolts in the back here um the on wrench is a little bit smaller uh on the thompson than it is on the control tech um but it fits real good there's no gap in the back when when i put on the thompson um you could see the the rusted bar a little bit on my on my steer um but it's fully recommended i'm gonna i look forward to riding on it and uh got any questions let me know it's not much you could talk about in a stem review um i got to do a lot of other bike reviews for a lot of other things so i'm just pretty busy um but i'll catch you later stay safe bye bye